Hi, I'm Ace Lewis. In a previous video, I did explain briefly the differences mainly between JPEGs and PNGs and when you should use them on the web. I've also done a video on how you compress P PNGs. However, if you have like a photo and you want you have a JPEG and you want to compress it, you can't use the same techniques. So for this example, I'll be using this image of a red panda. As you see here, there's a lot of information in it and there's a lot of colors. So it's also a photograph, so it's more suited towards JPEGs. That's why we're using JPEG instead of PNG. So the simplest way I'm going to show you, first of all, there's are two online tools and then there's an offline tool. So the for the online tools, all you do is you can drag and drop your image and then the tinyjpeg.com, I'll put the URL in the description, will compress that image and then the same image goes down to 237 kilobytes. So that's 72%. Also, compressjpeg.com This by, by default uses, doesn't compress it by much, however you do actually have choice over the quality. So if we go down here, the quality of the JPEG here, it, that's, as I said in my previous video, the tables that are used in compression, like if you set it higher, you use less quality, so in this case zero, but if you move it lower, you lose a little bit more quality, you, you won't really be able to notice this that much, and you lose, you have a smaller file size. In a very extreme case, so if I set it down to 10, you'll get blocks, and these blocks will be, if we zoom in very far, 8 by 8 pixels, because as I mentioned previously, the 8 by 8 pixel compression uh, that's used in, J in JPEG, so just having a small, um, like 56 or something, these this gives you an image which to the eyes is pretty much identical. It's a, it is a lossy compression, so the, this image has more information than this image. However, it is 84% smaller. Now, there are problems with using online tools. First of all, if you can only for this one, you can only upload 20 images, and also the file size that you upload to the websites are limited. If you want to do batch jobs like hundreds and hundreds of files, it wouldn't be ideal to do this. And also, because you're uploading them to someone else's server, if you want to re retain your privacy, for example, if you're posting these images on ZeroNet, then you'd want to use offline tools. The offline tool I'm going to show you how to use is called Cesium. It's free and also open source. What I've got is the Cesium image compressor. As you see here, there is an installer, however I'm going to use the portable version just because then I don't need to install it and you can view the source code as well. So if we open up Cesium, you can then, similar to the website, just drag and drop your image into it. And then, as shown on compressjpeg.com, you can set the image quality. So I'm going to put it in the same folder and just put underscore compression on and then compress the image. So this compression, we, we got 58% of the um, file size uh, in the output image. Also, I did mention in my first video on image compressions that like within a website, if you only want a smaller image, let's say you want the image half the size, then you'll you will then have a smaller image because there's less information to have. So like the output re resolution um, is smaller. So in this case, it's gone down by 90% to because we've halved the image size. So if we go to the actual folder here, these two images to the eyes 
are pretty similar. I can't see much of a difference. Of course, the change in size is a little, like physically. But both of these would be ideal on a website. However, one of them is 90% smaller than the other. You can also lower the image compression here. So again, in, in the extreme case, it would be very blocky. If we lower it to, let's say, 50%, we've gone down to 51 kilobytes. And you, you then can compare here and here. So again, this would be OK for a website. Uh, I'd actually have slightly higher quality because if you've seen these lines, there is slight compression that you can see. However, if you had this on, for example, your Zeronet site, you could have, this is nearly a megabyte, so you could have about 10 of these, but because this is 51 kilobytes, you can have like uh, 100 of these images instead of 10 of these, and still have space to for all your HTML and CSS. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a like. Also, I'm going to do more uh, videos on topics like image compression. If you enjoyed this video uh, and want to see more, you can subscribe. I'll put two videos on, on screen now. One is just to the first video showing you the differences between image types and when you should use them on the web and also one video of how you can compress PNGs. Thanks for being Ace Lewis and goodbye.